Hey there, my name is Quinn and I'm the Habitat Restoration Coordinator for the American Littoral Society's Delaware Bayshore office. Today I'm going to read to you High Tide for Horseshoe Crabs, written by Lisa Kahn Schnell and illustrated by Alan Marks. It's starting. One spring night, the first horseshoe crab lunges onto shore. They're arriving. More horseshoe crabs follow, just as generations have done since before the time of the dinosaurs. Adult horseshoe crabs crawl from the muck of their winter homes and swim toward land. Millions of horseshoe crabs head for Delaware Bay. High tides carry them far up onto the beach where their eggs will develop best. They're flapping. On flickering wings, flocks of shorebirds fly through wind and rain, through day and night. Some of these birds weigh only as much as a handful of paper clips. Still, they are powerful enough to fly thousands of miles from South America all the way up to the Arctic, where they will lay their eggs. One of the few stops they make along the way is on the shores of Delaware Bay. They're traveling. Scientists journey to Delaware Bay from around the world. Some come to study the horseshoe crabs, others come to study the birds. Citizen scientists, both adults and children, come year after year to observe and help the professional scientists gather data. Families on vacation, curious about the commotion, also stop to watch.